sheer volume of fire, belt fed, 1200 rounds per minute. I'm sure some people thinking that they're MG42s. And to be honest, to all intents and purposes, they really are. The MG3 is one of several variants that happens to be chambered in 7.62 NATO, 7.62 by 51. It's the first general purpose machine gun. The Germans call it a universal machine gun. Uh, later on, we, we, we call it uh, GPMG. This is where the British GPMG gets its um, <laughs> class, its classification from, as it were. <laughs> Any spotters out there, have a look at the muzzle booster, the muzzle device. If it's if it's one piece and a particular shape, then it's an MG3. If not, then it'll be one of the other uh, MG42 variants. But for the for, for everyone else, it's an MG42 in 7.62. Um, introduced in 1968 or from 1968, but these other variants were in service from from earlier earlier. Well, almost continuously from the Second World War with the 42 through the other variants. Any true general purpose machine gun has a, has a quick change barrel. The PKM, for example, uh, from the Soviet bloc. Um, now, the MG42 family, including the MG3, has a very clever design for, for the quick change barrel. You, you push in a slide, pop out the, the part of the barrel shroud, and it offers up the barrel for you to withdraw and replace with your other barrel at about 200 rounds, having fired about 200 rounds rapid. So there is this um, sort of, well, a meme really from the Second World War that the, the you know, British Bren gun was was super accurate but couldn't keep up with the rate of fire of the, the MG42. And the MG42 was just spray and pray and by extension the MG3 as well. Uh, n neither is strictly true. You know, the, the Bren's effective rate of fire was, was better than people think. And the 42 family, you, you can squeeze off at least a short burst uh, that's going to be accurate enough for a machine gun. Um, and when, it, when it's on its, uh, it, it's, its mount, highly effective, stable, recoil dampened mount, yeah, it, it's, it's as accurate as you need it to be. The MG42 as, as a family, uh, it's, it's, it's well up there. Um, I mean, I think the with post-war developments and service, I would have to put the the FN mag, the GPM, our GPMG, if you like, well up there, and the PKM, well up there as well. I won't, I won't necessarily come down on which is best because it does depend on context. And then I might put the MG42 slash MG1 slash MG2 slash MG3, the next one down, perhaps. But I, I am open to persuasion.